a lot to go over in tonight's video. We have the free square on Tatum. We also have game one of NBA finals, of course. And then we have this promotional play on the WNBA. I'm going to be building a protected six man for that. But first, let me recap. Last night's went two and two. Unfortunately, the Philly stack could not get it done for us. Ashby did end up going under his pitcher strikeouts. But if Philly's only scoring two runs in the whole game, it's going to be very unlikely that these guys cash. And you can see they both went under. That's the correlation. Of course, that's what we expect. But we were hoping that, you know, double over rather than the double under. Then Carlos cashed very easily on that over five and a half pitcher strikeouts. We got to the board. I have three slips today. As I said, we're going to be going over each of the promos as well as building a four man in the NBA. So, let's start with that first one. It's going to be a four man stack here on all overs. So, I'm going for all overs because I'm expecting a tighter matchup in this game one Boston versus Dallas. And essentially, I want to be grabbing two overs on some assisters as well as two overs on some points props for both of these teams, right? So, the first play I'm going with is Jason Tatum on his over five and a half assists. And I always stack players up with this. I first found Tatum. I said, okay, I like his five and a half assists. And I think, who does that play well on? And I go to Drew Holiday on his over 12 and a half points. I'm surprised it's not a popular pick. Honestly, he's hit this in the past, I think, seven or eight games. That's why I'm thinking it. But just to bring it up, I know Porzingis is back in the lineup. But I still think 12 and a half is a good spot for Drew Holiday. And so did the sports book. I'll show you the juice in a bit. To start with Jason Tatum over five and a half assists. First thing I look at is the juice on the sports book. There is juice towards the over at minus 122. Minus 109 on the under, meaning his over is already more likely to take. So we want to take that on price picks to start the entry. Now, if we go to the actual playoff game logs and see what Tatum has been cooking up recently, he did cash it in the last two games versus Indiana, eight assists and eight assists. In games one and two, he actually only got five and four assists respectively. But overall in the series, he has been averaging a lot of assists. And we could go through all these game logs, see nine here, see five here, six here, six here, five here. It's not like he's struggling that much. Only in the Miami series is where he struggled, except for in game one where he dropped 10 assists. Now, I actually like this play better in the Dallas series because if you go over to Fantasy Pros, you could see which team allows the most assists to which position. So we're looking at the power forward position for Tatum and we could sort by easiest assists to hardest assists. And what you notice is Dallas is actually at the top of the list. They're the top five easiest matchup for power forwards in terms of assists, meaning they allow the most assists to power forwards. You notice Dallas is in that fifth position. And if you scroll all the way down, you'll see Pacers are somewhere in the middle, right? I didn't count exactly. But it's probably about top 10, top 15 in terms of assists allowed, meaning Dallas, of course, is that easier matchup points. I think that's already a good indicator to see. But if we go over and check the actual head to head, they only played each other twice, or at least in games that Tatum was active. In one of the games, it was a blowout 138 to 110. He only dropped three assists, but he, but he still played very decent minutes. So I don't want to say it's because it's a blowout that he went under. But in this other game, it was a bit tighter 119 to 110, which is likely what we're going to see tonight. Something much, much tighter like this and probably a similar scoreline, honestly. And he dropped five assists. Of course, that still doesn't clear his six assists. But it's a completely different game state now. I mean, we're like six months later compared to these games. So I don't want to use this as like the end all be all. Oh, he hasn't hit it versus Dallas twice. So we're not going to go with it. I still think the five and a half on the over is the correct play. Now, if we go over to Drew Holiday, of course, he's that point guard position. And we could check points allowed versus point guards. And Dallas is literally right next to the Pacers. And we all know Drew feasted on the Pacers in every single game. Of course, he cashed it in all four games of the series and was averaging 17.4 points. Per game again i do know that porzingis is back and that will bleed into his usage rates but still if we go over to pinnacle once again we see drew holiday over 12 and a half points minus 144 juice this is basically one of the best props on price picks right now in terms of this nba finals game i do think this will actually get bumped to 13 that is way too much juice on the over for price picks to be keeping it at that 12 and a half mark but it's weird it's not really a popular play i don't really see that many people on it they're more on his points rebounds assists but i think the 12 and a half points is a great spot now why are we pairing this up with tatum on assists because, of course, if Tatum is going over his assists, it's more likely that Drew Holiday is going over his points. We didn't see that in every single game in the past five. But as you'll see, they did cash together in three out of the five games. Of course, Drew Holiday was green in the past five. Tatum was red in these two games here. So still decent enough to see. And normally, I like to take a more heavily assisted player. But I don't want to go with Przingis on his first game back. And Drew does have amazing juice. We'll see Drew's points from assists is only at 55.2%. Someone like Przingis, for example, I'll show you him. He has 71.4% of his field goals made assisted, but I still think it's okay to take Drew, especially at that 12 and a half point mark. Again, if he gets bumped to 13, I don't recommend it as much, but I'm loving this stack to start. So moving on, if we're assuming the game is going to be tighter than expected, we also want to be taking overs on Dallas. So Doncic is the first play I'm going with on his over eight and a half assists. Looking very nice to us if we go over to Pinnacle and check his juice once again. You're going to see over at eight and a half minus 133. This is another line that might get bumped to 9.0. We'll see how price picks is feeling. If they're feeling generous, they might keep his eight and a half here where you're going to absolutely want to smash the over. And since we're going Doncic on the over eight and a half assists, again, we're thinking, who is that going to pair nicely with? And you should be thinking Gafford, Derek Jones, players like this. You should also be thinking PJ Washington on his 12 points. PJ Washington was extremely hot at the beginning of the series. He was clearing his points line very nicely. I believe it was all the way up at like 16 and a half, 17 and a half at a point. It's come down all the way to 12. And honestly, I don't even like it at 12. What I do like is something that's very similar. It's just going to be his points plus assists at that 12 and a half point mark. 
And why do I like his points plus assists over his points? Because if we go over to Sportsbook, we're going to see on PJ Washington points, he is set at 11 and a half. Yes, there's very good juice towards you over, but we don't want him at 12. We get that push potential, which we don't like in a four man. We'd rather just have a straight prop that could cash or not cash. So a better prop right away is that PJ Washington over points plus assists. It's set at 13 and a half on the Sportsbook and we're getting at 12 and a half on price picks. So it's an absolute no brainer. You should not be on PJ Washington points tonight. If you're liking him on the over, grab his points plus assists. It's a much better prop. And honestly, he has been getting a decent amount of assists, two assists in this game, two assists in this game, and two assists in this game in those past three games. He did get zero in these first two games versus Minnesota. But again, versus OKC, two assists here, four assists here, two assists here, four assists here. Been getting over half an assist more often than not. So I do think it's going to be a nice boost to this prop. Assuming that he only gets like 10 or 11 points, it would be very nice if he gets two or three assists and boost him over that 12 and a half PA. So this is going to be the full first slip juice on all these players very correlated we want a nice tight matchup where all the starters are playing a lot of minutes if this game does go to ot that's going to be absolutely beautiful for these four props and on top of that because we're putting a star in this player which is jason tatum we're actually getting paid 11x because we get that 10 percent boost so this first slip i'm absolutely loving let's lock this one in to start so tatum on the free square what i normally say is if you want absolutely free money you could just take us over half a point since this is a lock you go and grab another player it doesn't matter who it is as long as it's on a different team and it's not a push line so we could go with Kyrie, for example on his over 23 and a half points so you would lock in something like this where you grab jason tatum half a point this is a lock you grab Kyrie on his over 23 and a half points and you put 12 and a half dollars on this first slip so you lock this in and then you go and grab another slip where you take tatum of course on the half a point and then Kyrie on his under 23 and a half points so no matter what you're making money because Kyrie's obviously going to go over or under there's no in between there there's no push line so what would happen is you're going to get this 41.25 back on one of the two slips you put 25 dollars in and that is an easy profit of 16 dollars and 25 cents so i do recommend that if you're kind of on a lower unit if you're only putting five dollars per slip what you could do instead is since this is a 25 dollars max you could put tatum in as many entries as you want put ten dollars on the first slip use your first twenty dollars on this strategy where i showed you with Kyrie over points Kyrie under points that's two slips you make a guaranteed profit and then you take your last five dollars and put it on this slip that i'm about to create which is going to be a triple stack over in this Arizona game we're going with Marte on his over one and a half hits plus runs plus RBIs and we're combining this with Christian Walker on his over one and a half hits plus runs plus RBIs now this game starts at 940 so the official lineups are not out but Marte is expected to bat second and Walker is expected to bat fourth you know anything about MLB this is one of the most correlated combinations you could go with, with a 2-4 a 1-2 a 1-3, things like this. These guys at the start of the lineup are going to be the most quoted together because they're also the most likely to get an extra at-bat compared to the guys at the end of the lineup. Now, of course, you could expect something like Marte getting on base, maybe Walker running him in, and then they both cash maybe a hit, a run, or an RBI within that same inning. That is the idea where we're taking these two specific guys. On top of that, if we go over to the Bet365, you're going to see some nice juice on Marte on his over at minus 125. You're not going to see the same thing for Walker. He's a kind of flat at that minus 115 minus 115 but again when you stack these guys together you're sort of amplifying christian walkers over because you're already grabbing over on Marte. and the better the diamondbacks are doing as a whole the more likely walker is going to be doing well too because he might get that extra at bat or you could be running in Marte, or you could be running in other players there's so much things that could happen as well it's just a chain reaction in mlb and this is exactly what we're going for now to end the slip off since you're assuming that arizona is going to be doing good that means the opponent pitcher is not going to be doing as well so you'd grab his under pitcher strikeouts but the thing is with randy i'm not liking him at four if you set at four and a half i'd absolutely take it what I will do to kind of circumvent this and still grab Randy is go over to the MLB live and grab his under one and a half pitcher strikeouts. This is just for the first two innings. And if you notice, no matter what, these two guys are going to be hitting within the first two innings. So the idea is if these guys are getting hits within the first two innings, it's less likely that Randy is getting strikeouts because the Arizona players are probably getting out through other means. And it does look tight because there's only two strikeouts and we're screwed. But within that first two innings, I'm feeling pretty confident on these players as well as the fact that randy's expected to pitch about five innings and he is only set at four i feel comfortable with the first two innings at the one and a half it's not perfect and yes this could chalk within 20 minutes of the game starting but it could also cash within the first two innings right if these guys are doing their job as expected so honestly if you max this out you're getting 11x again because tatum is a star player and they're being generous enough to give us that boost on this too so this is going to be the second slip and the last play is going to be for that wnba protected play you definitely want to be maxing this out if you lose you're going to get the money back so put your full 20 dollars whether your normal unit is five dollars or not go and put a full 20 on this slip i'm about to create so for wnb i'm going to do a six flex because it's a free 20 dollars and if it does hit you're going to see we're going to make a very nice payday if you max this out with 20 dollars 
that's a potential $500 rather than just using it on a two power where it'll only cash $60. Might as well use this free money to its max potential. So what I'm going for is an unders play. And I'm not jamming all the unders because it's women like I see a lot of people do. Very popular thing to do. No, I'm grabbing unders because I'm expecting slower paced games. And when there's slower paced games, more unders are going to hit naturally. It only makes sense. Same exact thing applies to the NBA. So if people are missing their shots a lot or if they're just taking a lot of time off the shot clock, there's going to be less shots, less opportunity for points. And that's going to dictate the pace of the game, which means there's going to be a lot of unders within that game. And just generally on price picks, props are more skewed to the under, especially the points props because everyone loves jamming over points when the unders are normally the better play. But anyways, we'll build up a slip. The first play I'm going with is Evans Honor under 15 and a half points plus assists. I'm choosing these plays strictly off Sportsbook's juice and she has minus 136 juice towards the under on FanDuel. So that is the first pick. Very simple there. Next one from this same game is going to be Van Lu Honor under one and a half, three points made. Again, this does have juice towards the under minus 128 juice on FanDuel. This is, of course, the same game Chicago versus Washington. If this game is slower pace, you can expect both these girls to take less shots and score less shots. Now we're going to move over to the New York Liberty game. First pick I'm going with is Sabrina Honor under six assists. And I'm going to be stacking this up with Brianna Stewart on her under 20 and a half points. Sabrina actually has juice towards the over five and a half assists. But since we're getting her at six assists on price picks, I do think that's a nice push line to put into this entry. Brianna Stewart does have juice towards the under 20 and a half points on every single sports book. Next play has minus 130 juice towards the under. That is going to be Alicia Gray on her under 19 and a half points plus rebounds. And honestly, I'm going to go back to Chicago to end this play off with Mabry on her under four and a half assists. This also pairs nicely with Evans because if Mabry is going under her assists, it's also more likely that Evans going under her points plus assists. So make sure to max out this NBA protected play. I can't, unfortunately, because of my limits, but I'm going to be locking in $5 with this for you guys here. 